Hello and welcome back everyone to our Magic the Gathering set explorations and in this episode instead of going and going and doing Ice Age which I thought we were going to go do because it was still winter time at the time we're instead <laughs> going to be doing Champions of Kamigawa which is the second of the third uh, sets in the Kamigawa block. We uh, may eventually get to all three of them that is that is the hope after all and I will be playing a Golgari Ooh, deck. Mm. Champions of, of Kamigawa specifically is renowned for having a shitload of legendary creatures in it. And also it being, you know, the, uh, it's tied quite uh, specifically up with a lot of uh, Japanese folklore and uh, stereotypes. Like Samurai and Ninja. They did the research. Oh yeah, they they have a multicultural and diverse team, and that's why they uh, they lampoon just about everybody from the English to the Japanese, all two of all two cultures bound in one. <laughs> um, right. I enjoyed ready, going. Cloud? I am ready, but let me just say also that it has been a pleasure going through a deck that goes through the samurai themes. Uh, if if you guys are not aware how much samurai content we, we, we got for you, we got these videos and we got Sekiro Shadows Fried Trice. You guys ought to check them all out. Anyway, let's hit that ready button and get started on our matchup here. Roll die. Swing. Dang it! One Beaten of these days I'll actually uh, win, win, win one of those. Uh, one of these yeah, days. yeah, I can keep this. One of these days. Uh, okay, I will accept and keep this hand, and I will keep my first turn privilege and put down an island. I'm going to end my turn. So, All right, then. yeah, Skirt had mentioned that he's running Golgari. Well, I'm running Azorius, one of the more dastardly of the color combos. I'm going to start off with one of my legendary lands, the Okina Temple of the Grandfathers. Yeah. And I will end. Each of the colors has its own dedicated legendary land that also has the glory of entering the battlefield untapped, which is always welcome and awesome. I'm going to put down the Cloudcrest Lake, but unfortunately okay. I can't play anything else, so I'm going to end my it's turn. It's like one of the frost lands. It freezes. All right, then. Ooh, that's very nice. Okay, I'm going to put down a swamp, then I'll spend two to cast the Orochi Sustainer. Haha. Uh -huh. Another uh, uh, another famous archetype of the entire block is actually the Orochi stuff. And although six. a majority of the Orochi stuff is uh, is in this set, I'm not really going to be running it because uh, mm. you have to have like multiple copies of each of the uh, of each oh, of the bigger Orochi bosses in order to uh, in order to do really nice things. Oh, you're yeah. just going to put down Hall of the Bandit Lord. Hall of the Bandit Lord is a fucking amazing card in modern. It is. It is. Also, kind of weird that it doesn't have a reprint. You would think an ability this cool would have other appearances. <laughs> uh, only kind of. All right, I'm going to spend three in order to cast the Wicked Akuba. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to swing at you for one. My God. It's your ramp. Oh, God, it's your ramp. I'm going to tap two. Consuming Vortex. Bounce okay. that ish back to this mu. All right then. Uh, and I with that, I will end. you down somehow, some way. There she. Mm. Uh, I'm gonna put down a plains, and I'm gonna pay four to put down legendary enchantment, the Honden of Cleansing Fire. All right, the shrine uh, mechanic. The shrine. Uh, each uh, each color actually gets their own shrine in this set, and honestly, there is a five color shrines deck that is uh, being pushed by the set. But uh, it's not actually all that good on its own. That the you gotta go pretty heavy into blue in order to make it work. Mm-hmm. All right, so I'm going to spend two in order to cast the Orochi Sustainer again. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to swing at you for two. Okay, I'm tapped out, so I cannot respond correctly. All right, and during main phase two, I will spend two damage in order, in order to... I will spend two mana in order to trigger my Wicked Akuba's uh, ability twice. So yes, you lose an additional two life. Because it activates depending on whether or not a condition is met, and it is. Mm -hmm. All right, and I will end. I cool. actually really like this uh, this incarnation of what of what would eventually be shade breathing. Well, actually, what what would be shade breathing otherwise? 
Shade breathing. I mean, it's basically shade breathing. You deal additional damage, attack power is damage. It's all, it's all related. Hmm. Okay. Ha <laughs> ha. I am going to activate my Hall of the Bandit Lord's mana ability. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, uh, okay, you did actually do Honden. All right. Yes, I did. And I got two life because I control one shrine at the moment. I'm going to pay three life for the Hall of the Bandit Lord. Metallica, give me strength. Let's pay an additional three mana to play Nagao, Bound by Honor. All right. And because I use the Hall of the Bandit Lord to summon him, he has haste this turn. Mm -hmm. I'm going to swing into you for three. Four, And actually. whenever he attacks, Samurai I control get plus one, plus one until end of turn. All right, I'll take four. And instead of blocking, you would tap into my Bushido ability. Mm, all right, then. Uh, not what I needed. Oh, well. Okay, I'm going to put down a forest, and then I'm going to spend three. Mm, um, oh, yeah, I have to spend a black. In order to cast Rend Flesh on your Nagao, uh, uh, Bound by Honor. Damn it, he's not a spare creature. But he is now. Mm. Okay, and then, uh, yeah, I'm going to swing at you for three. Nice. Okay, I take three, so I'm down to 12. All right, and during my main phase two, I'll spend an additional black in order to deal an additional damage with Wicked Akuba. So wicked. So very wicked. I will end. Uh, all right, upkeep time. Draw a card. Hmm, well, I don't have my uh, compliment to Honden of Cleansing Fire quite yet. I get to put down a, another planes card. Um, oh wait, uh, but I do have the mana, don't I? Ha <laughs> ha! That is awesome. You're gonna, you're gonna die. <laughs> Pay six and an additional three life to cast Kaiga, the Tide Star. Okay. And he has haste this turn. He has a five five with flying. He's gonna swing into you for that much. All right, I'll take five. One, two, three, four, five. I have a strong feeling that Mr. Gerdad is about to kill me on the next turn. Oh, no, I don't have ten damage. You got five and counting. Six and counting. Mm, okay. All right. Um, you are tapped out, so it would be an interesting time to cast that, but... Ah, nah. I'm just going to swing at you for five. Or, th or for three. For three, and then... Okay, I've taken damage. Alright, um... I don't have any combat tricks, so yeah, I'm gonna spend three black mana in order to trigger out Wicked uh, Akuba to deal an additional three damage. Very nice. Alright, and with that, I will end. Alright, it's getting a little dangerous now. But thanks oh, to come my on, you got a six drop. Which has been in play for a total of three turns now is giving me quite a bit. Now you have a predicament. Pay three to cast the ghostly prison. Okay. It's not a shrine, but it fucking sucks to be up against. We wish you luck. Swinging at you for five. All right. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. And then I will end my turn. Now, for your information, Mr. Gerda, if you attack with creatures this turn, you have to pay two for each creature that's attacking me. Uh-huh. Got a lot of mana there. Huh. Yeah, I'm going to gamble on it. All right, I'm going to swing at you for three. Um, and you're paying mana well, not during the attacker's step. What is happening? Target lit. What what was what is happening? You can't spend mana for no reason. Um, I well, I spent four mana because of ghostly prison. Oh, for because of the prison. Got you. Okay, I'm gonna pay two to cast the otherworldly journey. Okay. I'm going to exile your wicked Akuba until this next end step, and then it returns with a plus one plus one counter on it. Mm, um. Okay. Uh. Yeah, and, and uh, that's your arcane, so I can't splice. All right, all right, and it's uh, banished. Okay. So you take one. I take one damage from your unblocked Orochi. Uh, all right, and uh, yeah, that'll end. 
Okay, during your end step, you get your Akuba back. Uh, is it still? A, actually, it shouldn't be. Uh, it shouldn't be tapped anymore. It uh, bounced. So it, that's correct. So it's an untapped three-three. Okay. Uh, upkeep time. Get another two life. So that's a total of eight life, and it feels pretty good. Unfortunately, I top deck mana, so the only thing I can do at you is swing at you for another five to bring you dangerously close to death. Except mm, that's suicide, true. though. Um, uh, oh. Well, actually, the move for me appears to be that I can't touch you because if I tap and I allow you to swing, then you have everything you need to end the game on that turn. So, in order to keep the game going, I have to leave you alone. All right. Mm. So, my turn. Hmm. Just remember, if you kill the Tide Star, I get to fuck you up. <laughs> That's true. Let's see. Uh, I'm one short of being, able, uh, of being able to cast that. How are you huh. one short of being able to cast anything? <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. Oh. <coughs> All right. So what I think I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna I'm going to pay four in order to cast the Kadama of the South Tree. Oh crap! Mm. Plus one, plus one against trample. And with that, uh, yeah, I'll end. Oh, crap. All right, Gerdad ends his turn, and I don't have any sweet moves. <clears throat> Maloku the Clouded Mirror. I'm going to gain two life during my upkeep, and let's see what my top deck is. It's another land card. Um, now then, um, I really got to think about this, because now you're showing a 4-4. Four, four. <sighs> Fuck. You do have to tap for each creep, but I can't defend myself is the problem. Dang it. Um, so if I do my math right, you attack with three creatures, you pay six mana, burn one, and then that's still nine points. So, uh, fuck my life. <laughs> I, can't, I don't think I can attack again this turn and still live to talk about it. Um, hmm. It's just not mathematically sound. I have to end my turn again. All right, then. But mm. next turn I might. <laughs> <sighs> you see, I could go for game, but I built this deck with the intention of being able to cast this damn thing. So I'm going to put down a swamp and then spend a total of nine mana yeah. in order to cast them in the Ogen of Life's Web. And because okay. I cast it, it enters the, uh, the it enters the uh, battlefield with a divinity counter on it. Ha-ha! Ha-ha! <laughs> divinity! Mm. And, uh... Yeah, with uh, with that, I'm going to end. Yes. I bet you do. Put any number of creature cards from your hand into play, and you have three cards in your hand. And you're also showing a motherfucking 8-8, eight, eight, huh? <laughs> well, isn't this isn't this just a fun little stalemate we have here? Let's see Come if on. my card... Let's see if my uh, card advantage plays. Life? Fucking, I... Thank you. Uh, I'm gonna, during my main phase now, <clears throat> I'm going to pay three in order to cast the Council of the Soratama. All right. Draw two cards. Ooh, what do I have here now? Um, well, you're not very useful, but you are. <laughs> wait. Wait. Blocking. No, but you can't. Damn it, that stinks. But actually, wait. Maybe this is the key. This might wait, 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 wait. This might be the this might be the stalemate breaker, because I can I got no compunctions whatsoever with blocking the life's web with Kaiga, because I will steal me I will steal the life's web if Kaiga gets killed, and I will still have the life to enjoy it. I think the move here, um, oh, you got to be kidding me! Damn it, that kind of fucks it up. This this creature cannot accept mana from the Hall of the Bandit Lord. It can only accept colored mana. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, that sucks. Um, 
So, does that mean that all I can do is just put this fucking thing down? Take three. I'm gonna put down Kusarigama. Ooh, the Kusarigama. I like the Kusarigama. Well, the thing Are you is, equip if I, it? I, I mean, I could. It would save me a little bit more mana. It would be probably the only other fucking thing I can do this turn, except except for the. I'm pretty sure I spent plain. I spent white mana. I'm just gonna change around how I spend my mana real quick, because um, I can still summon this guy. So. The problem with Kusarigama in this case is that you have no creatures that have flying or reach, therefore you can't block the hit even if you needed to. Um, and that would basically kill... That, that would be a pretty decent board wipe because then Kaiga deals damage equal to the damage dealt to every other creature defending player controls, which is fucking dope. Um, only other thing I'm going to do instead is... Uh, Pay these two. I'm gonna when when you use a frost land, it gets a frost counter w during my untap step. Remove frost counter and then tap any permanent that had a frost counter. Remove from it. Two whites is gonna get me the samurai of the pale curtain. Mm -hmm. And for some reason, this uh, mysterious fuck samurai exiles any permanent that would be sent to the graveyard. It's just a thing that it does. <laughs> Yeah, I have to force your hand though. Wait a minute. I see what you're trying to do. You're you're trying you're waiting until the end step to pop your life swab. No. You could you you could be. I could do that to be perfectly honest, but no, that is not what I'm waiting for. Hmm. You're right, because you still have to pay two for each creature. I I kinda like how the ghostly prison is kind of like keeping the game going, but that's kind of part of the problem now, is that the game is still going. If only by just one effing point. Can't equip Kusarigama. I have to decide whether or not I'm going to attack. Well, if my plan is going to work to stay alive, so at least I have a bargaining chip during your attack phase, I gotta leave Kaiga untapped. Alright then. 